Hello. So here is our second video on the topic of addiction. What's important to discuss before we dive into this topic is to really clarify why we talk about healing addiction. Uh, one of the main reasons is that we're wanting to bring greater light, source, divine love into these areas that are needing more healing, more awareness, and more ease and comfort. So the second topic, there's many topics that we could explore in addiction, that I wanted to dive into more deeply is the topic of programming. I talk about this briefly in my most recent podcast, check it out, soundcloud.com, on the topic of asking and manifesting. I'll bring it up briefly, define it shortly, I think, um, but I wanted to go into it more, more completely in a video in this way, and that is to really describe, define first, but then talk about how we can heal our addictions with programming. So when I say programming, what do I mean? I mean the belief systems that we picked up from our schools, from our parents, from our culture, some were spoken, some were unspoken. Some serve us, some programming really helps us still. Some is outdated and needs upgrading. And so what do we know? How do we know? How do we know what needs to be upgraded? We know what needs to be upgraded by the way that it feels. So if you're moving through your day, let's, I'm just gonna use an example here, it's Friday night, you've got a really hot date with a guy and uh, you're putting on a short skirt and you're getting you're super excited, you have butterflies in your stomach, you're so excited, and then boom, over comes the thought, maybe through the voice of the ego, maybe just out of, you don't know where it comes from, but you hear it and it goes, better take that skirt off or else you're going to get in trouble, right, something like that. Maybe it's the voice of some uncle that you heard once, a long time ago, and what's important first in the first step that we want to embrace as we upgrade our programming as we remove our addictions to it. And what do I mean when I say addictions to our programming? It means that we've got this unconscious loop in our reality that is cycling us back to thought patterns that don't serve us anymore. That we picked up a long ago like a piece of litter and we're looking to just let it go and release it from our field. So when that thought arises, wherever it came from or however it arose or wherever it stemmed from, doesn't actually really matter, but we know because if we can watch and become super awake and aware in our reality more and more and more, gosh, these birds are beautiful. Thank you, guys. Um, we know because it doesn't feel so good. You know because you're sitting there and you're getting ready and you're all excited and then all of a sudden, boom, out of nowhere, you're like, ugh, and you're deflated and you're feeling insecure and nervous. We first want to just honor, be like, okay, wow, that was a programming that actually helped me because there was a period of time for women, hey, let's be real, where wearing certain clothing got you killed. So for... Um, probably not this lifetime, hopefully, um, but it's in our DNA, it comes from way long ago, and it's still kind of lingering around, and so it's there to be cleansed, it's there to be removed, it's there to be released and upgraded. And so our first step, like any first step in dealing with addiction, is to become aware of that programming. And as we become aware of it, which we follow by our feeling indicators, because any programming that no longer suits you is not going to feel good. And that's how you know. That's it. It's really that simple. I want to make this super, super, super simple practical for you. Because then it's going to be really, really easy for you to change and to shift it. Um, another example I'll give, we've talked to the women, so I'm going to talk to the guys. Maybe you're you know, at a work meeting and all of a sudden you're feeling the impulse to really say something brave and vulnerable and you start to cry, right? Well, I'm working now with some really amazing uh, top selling or top performing salespeople and I am blown away by the emotionality that these men are connected to. It's beautiful. They're crying. They are way more connected than I've ever seen in a public way and I'm loving it. And so I know that this is just a sign for me that this is happening not only in corporate America but in everywhere. That men are in a safer environment. Our boys, our men are in a safer environment for them to experience all forms of emotion. Before it would have gotten huge social rejection. It still maybe does some parts of our world but more and more and more that shift is changing. The programming is getting upgraded and we aren't as addicted anymore to this is what a man looks like and this is what a man does and all that kind of stuff we're saying oh wait a minute men have the right and the permission to experience all types of feelings right that they can let go of that programming they can step into this new expression of what a man really is which is to express and to emote and to feel all of what they're feeling in a real and a public and in a powerful way if they're wanting to and so we are evolving we're shifting we're moving from human beings to these love beings uh, which are more elevated more 
express it more connected into love in all ways, shapes, and forms. Things that can help really shift any form of addiction, first, as you know, is awareness. Second is really calling upon help and saying, hello, I need some help. And it is so ridiculously powerful to do this. I uh, had a client recently who contacted me and told me this just incredible story. And it's a real example of how we can access source energy to help with addiction. And she knew that this thought pattern that uh, she'd gotten early on from her parents was that she was worthless and that, you know, that she just, she, she wasn't, she didn't really deserve to be on planet Earth, right? Ooh, that's a lot. She was so sick and tired of it. She, she went to sleep, she told me, and she said, you know what, guides, angels, you have to have me wake up tomorrow and to not, I can hear it, I can see this programming, but I'm not going to believe it anymore. And it was incredible. She told me she woke up, and it's not that it doesn't come up, right? It's not that the programming doesn't exist, because it does. When it's here for us to integrate, it's here for us to respect and to honor and say, okay, wow, at some point in time, that maybe served me. Maybe it never did, but it was there, and, and I respect it, and I honor it, but I'm not going to let it be my choice in what I choose to actually see what is my truth. And so she told me she got up the next morning, and... It, it's, again, it's not that it went away for her, but her relationship to it dramatically shifted forever. And I offer that to you because it's a real powerful example of the ways that we can own our connection to source energy and call upon it in these areas of addiction where we're really calling out for more light and saying, please, please, please bring in more consciousness, bring in more awareness, bring in more easiness for me to deal with not only the addictions with my programming, not only those loops of thought patterns that no longer serve me, but also with any other addictions that I'm dealing with, any, any, any. It reminds me of another <clears throat> client that I have is dealing with a similar addiction, um, food, right? So there's a lot of programming there. There's a lot of chemical addiction. There's a lot going on in food addiction, which most people on this planet are facing in some degree, shape, or form. That's really important, too, that I hope you can hear me, is to understand as well that you are not alone in dealing with addiction. Everyone in some shape or form is facing this. And it's it's here for a blessing, I promise you. It's here to bring you greater light, greater source, greater power. It truly is. Anyway, this inspiring story of my client, she, we've been working on her food addiction, and she said to me, I was on the way to the closet, and um, her pantry, sorry, where, you know, all the junk drawer, that's what she called it, was in the back. She knew where it was, and she was on her way, and she said, and I thought of you, Josephine, and I just kept praying, and I just said, angels, 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 take care of me. I'm on the way to binge. I can't do it again. Please, please, please take care of me. <laughs> She said she opened up the pantry and there was this ginormous, like obscenely big Costco popcorn bag that her husband had just bought and it was like shoved in and she literally, if she had taken it out, it would have busted and gone everywhere. And so she couldn't reach her hands to the junk uh, food area. And so she sat there and she ate some popcorn and she said that she didn't eat normally as much as she would have and she was laughing the whole way she said my angels came through they put this popcorn bag she didn't remember seeing it there this morning somehow it got there and her husband had put it in there and she just said thank you so much so angels move in mysterious ways all these non-physical energies are so here to help us all the time over and over again all we need to do is just say please help me i'm tired of this addiction i need to move source i need to move god i need to move divine energy in here to help heal this please do this now and help ease my comfort, and help ease my pain, and help ease everything that I'm needing. Mm. Let's do a big breath in, and letting it go. Mm. I'm setting the intention that as you move forward, you have a greater inspiration around receiving help with your addictions, knowing you are not alone, that everyone here, almost, almost everyone I've ever met in my life, is dealing in some way, shape, or form with these opportunities of addiction and I ask that this video inspires you to call upon more divine energy more source connection and more support than you ever have before to bring in more comfort healing and peace mm. cool talk to you soon bye bye